So today we'll talk about uh, how to incorporate light therapy into meditation or meditation into light therapy. I'll start off, I'll read this uh, powerful paragraph uh, that really stuck with, with me. 20 to 30 minutes of meditation per day allowed people to shut out their chatter for the entire day. Less critical, less judgmental, and think a new way of being. The old nerve cells fall apart and new ones form and can see the positive future. When your mind makes this shift, your actual body begins to believe this is occurring now. Your new genes are signaling to make new proteins, changing your chemical state, bringing positivity, and thus boosting all your systems. Now generally we think meditation kind of woo-woo, but this is really science, and that's, that's the key. These are things that can be measured um, through an EEG. So how the brain works, you're talking about brain waves, is it's neurons with electrical pulses. So we have billions of neurons through the brain. Each neuron uh, is connected to thousands of others. So depending on um, your age and your daily state, whether you're in sleep or alert, um, we can read the brain waves. So the brain waves work in five categories. Gamma is the highest, beta, uh, alpha, theta, delta. Generally how it works is uh, when you're awake alert, you're in your beta. Uh, when you get into a relaxed state, let's say you're getting ready for bed, you can get into an alpha. You start to block out the outside world. Then you fall into the more the theta, which is your dream state. That's when your body is asleep, but your brain is awake. And then you can fall even deeper into a delta. When you're waking up, it's exactly the opposite stage. So when your body first wakes up, it'll jump into the beta. That's when you know sunlight or light hits our eyes. It alerts us, um, gets the serotonin to flow. And we start to think, okay, what's going on? Am I thirsty? Am I hungry? Do I need to use the bathroom? Am I, am I in danger? Do I have tasks to do? Whatever. When we get into what we'd call dysfunctional brain wavelengths, a um, couple of things. Either we're too high in a certain wavelength, uh, say beta and gamma. Um, or too low um, in alpha, delta, theta. So meditation uh, as well as light can benefit both of those. The goal is um, when we're in um, a stressed environment, we're kind of in that fight or flight, we may do things or say things that later we may regret. That's, that's our brain working in um, high beta or gamma. Uh, so what we want to do is bring that state down to a low beta, high alpha. Now it's not like the whole brain is functioning on the same wavelength. Different brain parts are functioning differently. The, the, the goal is, is that they're more synchronized. This is what Violite has done such a great job with is showing the research and how to use light with pulsing um, to help synchronize the brain. So those that are in uh, more of a dysfunctional state, uh, those are the ones that tend to lean on alcohol, drugs, other types of addictions to help bring um, their mind to more at peace. So what we wanna do with light is, you know, use it for all the things that we use it for anyway, but what a great tool to use um, to meditate while we're doing it. Two birds with one stone. Now with meditation, the, the key is, is to block out as many senses as you can. So 80% of our senses comes visual. So generally you tend to close your eyes, but it, it's really nice when you have just a blanket of, of red. They're very calming for me, calming for a lot of my clients. Uh, and I th I'm sure you notice that as well. So having light, the red here, and then for the ears, either wearing uh, some headphones that'll block out sound or just having some calming 
uh, sounds, ocean, rain, you can get this on your Alexa or on YouTube or whatever and listen to that. And that'll help, you know, again, block out a lot of the uh, other senses. So we're using a pad system. What we wanna do is place this right here. You can place it over the eyes as well. And you can do that for a good 20 minutes. If you're using a panel system, same thing. We can just be facing it or off to the side. If I wanna do longer, you know, cause we say about 10 minutes, then I'm just gonna move the panel you know, further away from me. If I want to do 20 minutes or 30 minutes, then I could just move it further away and not worry that I'm getting too much light. If I'm using torches, then I can just either place them on certain meridians or I can just place them on the frontal lobe, trigeminal area, C1, C2, base of, of uh, the skull area uh, as well. If your pad system or your panel, uh, like the light path, has pulsing, then you can certainly also incorporate the pulsing, which has been shown uh, positive for, uh, for brain health. Um, while you're doing this, uh, you know, the, the key is just to either work on mantras, uh, work on breathing exercises. I like uh, Wheeland where it's an inhalation for four seconds. It's a hold for five. And then it's a slow out for seven. But whatever you like to do um, is perfect. Continue the process. I like to do it first thing in the morning because it's, it, it, it helps to wake me up, it helps to energize me, and it, it helps to kind of focus my uh, attention. So if you notice that for whatever reason you're either, you know, brain fog or you just scatterbrain, you've got so many things going on and you're feeling so stressed and anxious about it, uh, one of the really good things about meditation and light that it can help is it starts to um, focus, shut off parts of the brain that are unnecessary. And it can focus on the things that are necessary at the moment. So if you want to get into a, a deeper thought, more relaxation, work on using whatever light system you have um, and doing, you know, start off with 10 and try to build your way up to 20, 30 minutes of, of meditation per day. And I can guarantee you, as they say, uh, bad thoughts can lead to bad health. Uh, good thoughts are going to lead to good health. There's nothing really that the body's not capable of you know, fixing. So use the light not just for your aches and pains, but you know, use it for your mind and use it in conjunction with, with um, meditation. And, and, I, and I bet you'll see some significant changes in a very short amount of time. So you know, as you try this out, uh, post let people know um, what changes you're seeing just you know throughout your day uh, not just mental but what you're seeing um, throughout the body as well all right